Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Well, oh my gosh, big beauty news right now is the launch and release of the new Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. This is called the Star Palette. It is 18 brand new shadows that we haven't seen from Natasha before in a beautiful, um, almost kind of like a champagne gold packaging embossed with stars. It's so pretty. It's just like one of those things where you're like, this is just really pretty. Um, I've got to be honest, I have had this since like August and I have been dying to tell you guys about it. Obviously because of my role with Natasha Denona, um, I got to have this exclusively before anybody else and got to really, like really got to play with this. I've worn this a lot. In fact, I can't tell you how many videos I was wearing this in over the last like month or two. I know. And I had to be so careful like not to make sure that it was like on any of my Snapchats, like in my vanity or anything. So I do have a blog um, post all about this palette, www.aglitterylife.com. Check out the blog. You can see really good swatches of the whole palette. I think that's easier to see than on videos. Um, I always look for swatches on blogs. I never search YouTube for swatches. I always search blogs for swatches. So I like Google. So I do have some really, like I said, good swatches of this beautiful palette, but let's like take a look inside of this. Oh my gosh. Can you guys, how many of you were dying last week when you saw these images start to come up on social media and Instagram? Whew, they are so pretty. This palette. So like I said, 18 new shades, it launches on the 28th, right? October 28th. It goes on sale at Beautylish and it goes on sale at Sephora. And actually I have a link down below so that you can get first access to it. You can get the like um immediate or not immediate but like first access with beautylish so which means it'll probably be shipping out to you um even before like sephora is live so that's what i love about beautylish they take care of their customers palette is going to retail for 169 dollars i know some of you are you like <laughs> so expensive right but um, it breaks down to about $9 a shadow. So that's her kind of normal price point. Her 10 eyeshadow palette, which looks like this right here. This one is 99 um, for these 10 shadows. Let me show you it. So, and then her big one, the big daddy, which you know I love, uh, the blue green or the brown, or purple brown or blue green, no green, brown, purple, blue. These ones right here retail for, what is it, $239. So the new one at $169 is kind of like right in the middle of the Natasha price point in terms of her larger palettes. The small ones, uh, I have a small one somewhere, I'm sure I do. What are the small ones, like 40 bucks, $45, I think, the five, the five palette ones. So this, I feel like this is actually kind of a good middle road on like dipping your toe into the Natasha Denona, like larger palette family. Um, and I think this is actually the perfect palette. I think this is a perfect palette for a couple reasons. One, because it has a warm side and a cool side, like that's pretty smart. Most palettes don't do that. And most palettes don't kind of like cut it right down the middle. So here's your nine warm shades, your nine cool shades. You can do any kind of look you want, warm or cool. That's really smart. That's a sign of an artist making, um, a product instead of an Instagram or making a product because an, uh, or an Instagram brand, an artist is going to think in terms of warm and cool because that's how we have to put eye looks together for like work and, um, other, other brands aren't going to think about that. So the other cool thing about this palette that I love is anytime you see a sequence of three shadows, it's a complete look. So it can be diagonal, horizontal, hor horizontal, horizontal, or vertical. It gives you like a complete look. So I think that's really smart too, because she's trying to make her palettes really user friendly. She understands, I think Natasha understands that like sometimes when like people see a palette like this, they're like, that's so, I just don't, it's overwhelming. It's so much product. Like it's so many different shades. Like what am I going to do with that? Well, she's making it really easy by doing sequence looks for you. So you can't mess up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And there's your eye look, super easy. Uh, the other kind of cool thing about this palette is it's got 
nine mattes. Now, most of her other palettes are predominantly shimmer because Natasha is the queen of glow. She's known for that like glowy, shimmery, gorgeous eye. I did do my eye look today with this palette. I used <clears throat> Flush right here as my transition color. Orion right here, which is a duochrome, is all over my lid and buffed into my crease. And then Bellatrix right here, this like rosy gold, um, sh very shimmery shade is in the inner corner. So it was super easy. Um, I didn't even have to use a sequence. I just pick whatever three colors I want to, but it is pretty user friendly like that. Nine new matte shades. They're her new cream, like creamy matte finish, which is great. So it is a very like creamy pigmented matte and, but it's obviously a powder. Um, uh, she has two new, um, shades in here that are made out of her new ingredient which is her chroma crystal um and these it's chroma crystals mixed with crushed diamond pearls which get this like sparkle and reflection and these are kind of a mess but they're so beautiful uh right here this one which is galaxia or galaxia i don't know how she's saying that one and then this one uh which is polaris and those do have the fallout out of all of them those are the two that have the fallout so i find that it's best to use your ring finger the warmth of your finger helps really keep that product like from falling out all over if you use a brush with one of these you're gonna get it everywhere it's gonna be like a shimmer sandstorm um I, it's i've got a lot of fallout on my palette just from the kick up of those but honestly if you just use them um just small to small work in small doses, I guess, you're going to be fine. You're going to have a problem. Um, I'm actually, I find that same way. I don't have fallout with any of her like shimmer shades, but, <clears throat> but I use my finger or I use a really good, like dense, like packing brush and I pack instead of sweep. So, um, but the mats are perfect. You can really, really like blend those out without a lot of kick up. There's not a lot of like dust product fallout, which is beautiful. And you are getting a pretty good, like opaque matte, which is really nice. It's not streaky or kind of like thin. And just to clarify, there are four of those like chroma crystal shadows. So, and then two duochromes, three metallics and nine creamy mattes. So the other two shades with the chroma crystals are uh, this one, which is spectrum right here and then Cosmo, this really, really pretty, like very vibrant gold. So like I said, if you wanna see swatches, I have really great swatches on my blog, aglitterylife.com. I would love to send you that direction to see those um, where you can see them very true to life. But overall, what do I think about this palette? I think it's a 10. I think it's such a win. I think it is the it is a better version of the Anastasia Modern Romance palette because it really meets your need for warm and cool. And those chroma crystal shadows are so, they're showstoppers. They're so beautiful. I haven't seen anything like it. You still have the duochromes. You still have that really beautiful metallic. I think the metallic formula in Natasha's line is my favorite in terms of her eyeshadows. I will put those on my lids 365 days out of the year because I think they're awesome. And I think they're so workable into even buffing into the crease as well. So even at the price point of $169, I think it's totally worth it. I'm not sure if this is limited edition yet. There is some talk that it is limited edition, but maybe it's not. I'm not totally sure. Um, but I think it's totally worth it. I love it. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy that I can finally like be posting it on social media and actually like talking about it because like I said, this is a big secret to keep you guys like a really big secret. So this launches at Beautylish and Sephora. And one of my favorite things about shopping with Beautylish is flex pay. So when you're looking at doing a, you know, $169 palette, you can break that up over three payments with no interest, no credit check. It's just like three easy pay. It's pretty awesome and it makes things like this a little bit more affordable. So anyway, I hope this was helpful information about the palette because I know none of you guys actually get to like get your hands on it and swatch it, which is why I posted um, swatches on my blog for you guys and wanted just to kind of walk through the palette as it is just in a video. So I will see you guys later.